Unity's particle system is a great way to make dynamic, real-looking flames. Here, you see a flame I've created with the particle system and just added a bloom effect. But when you take that off, you can see a quite real-looking flame. I'm Matt with Nightrun Studio, and in this video, we're going to make some flames using particles. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started by heading over to the hierarchy, where you can right-click, go down to Effects, and choose Particle System. This will create some spewing rectangles up into the sky, but that means you're on the right track. If you head to your transform, let's just zero out your X, Y, and Z values, and then double click the particle system to center it back on your screen. Now you won't need any special files to follow along with this tutorial. However, I will refer to a torch sconce I created, as well as a really simple pixel art flame sprite with a rounded bottom. That said, if a little bit of pixel art is beyond your ability, you could just download a random flame image and that'll work just fine for this. So within the particle system menu, we're going to start with duration and just slow that down a little bit to 3. We're going to turn our start lifetime down to 2 and start speed to 1. You'll notice that just makes everything a lot smaller and it disappears a little more quickly. To give us a sense of scale, I'm just going to add in the torch sconce that I created so that I can kind of see how my flame matches it. You'll see here that my sconce is very small. And so first thing I want to do is take my particle system and scale it back down so that it matches. So under transform, we'll just go to scale and I'm going to make mine about 0.3 on each of the axes. All right, that's starting to look a little bit better. Now still working within our particle system window, we're just going to head down to start size, which you guessed it is just the size of the particles at the start. And we're going to move that down to 0.6, which will just make it fit our sconce even a little better yet. If you head into a mission, we're going to change the rate over time from 10 to 100, which just gives us a much fuller looking flame. Then we'll head into shape. You want your shape to be a cone here, and we're just going to change the angle. At the moment it's set to 25, we're just going to make that zero, which will just make everything kind of head a little bit more upward. The arc then can be 90, and that's just going to narrow things even further. I realize this isn't looking a whole lot like flame yet, but I promise we'll get there. We're going to turn on color over lifetime, just click on the bar, and what we want to get here is a gradient that goes from a reddish color over to a yellow. You might have to click this bottom left tab here, select a nice red, and then with the bottom right tab, get your yellow. And then what we also want to do is we want to move from fully opaque to an alpha that is fully transparent. So we'll just click that top tab and slide our alpha over to zero. You'll notice now we're getting a fading look at the top of our flame. Next, we want to change the size of the flame over its lifetime, and we're just going to generate a curve here. At the moment it goes from 0 and works its way up to 1, but, and we want to actually invert that by going from 1 down to 0. You can do that manually, but it also has some predefined curves that you can use, which makes this a lot nicer. So you can just click on one of those if you like as well. And you can kind of see how this changes the effect of the flame. We go from 1 down to 0, we're now starting to get a nice curve at the top of the flame, and you can see the diffuse flame sort of disappearing at the top. Now at this point, we're starting to get something kind of flame looking, but it still isn't quite right. And in order to make this better, we're going to need to use something called a material. To do this, we're going to head down to our assets menu, and you may have your own folder for materials. I'm actually just going to put mine in my particles folder. And you're going to want to right click and go to materials. Now a material in Unity is a sort of holder for a bunch of data about how an image should be rendered. So it can hold things like a sprite, it can hold tiling information, shader information, all of that sort of stuff. And so we're going to create one here to create a material that is going to look kind of flame-like. So to start, we're going to head up and select a shader. We're just going to right-click here. I'm going to go all the way down to Legacy Shaders. We're going to choose Particles. And finally, we want to use Additive. We're then just going to click up where the Texture option is, and this is where we're going to put in a sprite. I've created a flame sprite ahead of time. I'm just going to quickly rename this to Flame Material. Now when we click back on our particle system, we can head down to the bottom and click on Rendering. And there's a slot here for Material, which we're just going to change to our Flame Material. All right, and just like that, we have a much nicer looking flame. You can see we've got some of those nice yellows in there, as well as the darker reds around the edges. At this point, you could add some lighting or a bloom effect, and there's other videos in this series showing how to do that. Until next time, I hope you found this one helpful. I'm Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.